happy with the win. Obviously, one and zero oh in the coastal. Um, we're four and one overall, which is a, a great start uh, for us. Uh, defensively, we saw we saw a game um, where we've been seeing quarters, and and they put a whole game together and uh, held Virginia Tech to 99 yards rushing under 100, uh, forced a turnover with an interception for said Gray that led to points, um, and and really played great defense throughout the night, and and really really proud of them. That's what I've been seeing in practice. I think the difference was um, when we got ahead, they kept playing. We, we had more maturity. Uh, I just told them, 21 to 3, here's where we've screwed up. Um, and and it's, it's where we just, we, we can't handle ourselves. Uh, and tonight they did. And, and the same thing in the, <clears throat> in the second half. I thought they kept playing throughout. Um, but we tackled better. We played the deep ball better. We had a couple other opportunities for interceptions that we missed. Uh, but overall, uh, really, really proud of, of especially the second half. The first half, we didn't get off the field as well as we should have on third down. And then it ended up uh, 8 of 18 and 1 of 2 on, on fourth down. So uh, really, really proud of, of the way those guys played, um, and, and especially in some positions where we are shorthanded. Uh, offensively, scored 41 points, should have really had more um, against a really good defense and a defense who has played so well in the red zone. And we scored a lot of touchdowns in the red zone tonight. Um, and we, we weren't as successful running the ball when we wanted to as I want to be. There's still too many zero gains in the running game. And we still got to continue to work to figure that out. Uh, but overall, we rushed for 160 yards on 32 carries and, and, um, and had a great night offensively. Uh, Drake continued to find the open player. And I, I thought without being able to run the ball really well, the protection was really, really good. And the kicking game did a, a pretty good job tonight. So uh, proud of the guys. We got to play a whole lot of people. Um, and uh, Drake just continues to, to, to do some amazing things of, of standing in the pocket or moving and finding the open guy. I think he's a, a very special player. Uh, questions? I'm sorry? One of the key things in being a good football team, and it, <clears throat> it does um, continue to life, is being able to respond. How do you respond when things are really good? Can you keep your focus and keep working? How do you respond when things are really bad? Can you pick it up and, and go right back to work like the kids did at Notre Dame after the, the fumble when things were really bad in the second half? So we've had to take pieces of games and try to teach them. And these have all been teachable moments because a lot of our best players are first and second year guys. And in some cases, we're playing against uh, COVID guys that are have the extra COVID year that are 23, 24, 25 years old. And, and we, we just have to continue to do it. So at App State, a teachable moment, we uh, said gets the interception that should have finished the game. And he runs over and starts cheering with the crowd. Tonight, uh, he saw me as he was running off the field. And he said, I got it. I, I got it. I'm headed to the bench to get them all together. And I said, thank you. We don't need to be cheering until in the locker room after the game. Um, and then, um, oh my gosh, Deuce Caldwell makes his first play of his life. And he did a dance or whatever that was he was doing. And, and three kids got him before he could even get to me so I could chew him out. Uh, and, and they said, coach, he's, we, we say, act like you've been there before. He has not. This is the first time he's ever been out there, so we got him. Don't don't worry about it. It will not happen again. Um, so the, the, we're just we're growing up. We're maturing, and as you look at scores across the country, it doesn't mean it'll it'll carry over to next weekend. I mean, it's just crazy what's happening out there. Every week is different, but but we we are learning um, what to do to to win games. Did you talk to Greg about no more hurdles? Yes. When he, uh, I could see that it wasn't his head, thank goodness, and it wasn't his neck. It was his, uh, they knocked the breath out of him. Um, and he said, Coach, I was trying to score. So that's just, that's just Drake. We're going to have to live with some of that. But I did think he slid better. He got out of bounds a little bit better. Uh, but that one we didn't need to do. And, and that was, I think, the only time we didn't score uh, in the red zone because we ended up kicking a field goal. 
That's okay. Uh, Bryson Nesbitt seemed like he was everywhere tonight. Even when he wasn't making catches, he was part of the play. Can you talk about his performance? What was what has he been working on that's led to his great performance tonight? Yeah, we, we forget Bryson didn't play much last year. He caught some balls but didn't play a lot. So he gets better every week. And he's so fast. And he's 6'5", 230 or something. And, and he can find seams. You know, his dad was an NFL player. His mom was a college athlete. Uh, so he gets it. He, he, he gets the concepts of football, and he gets the difference in the mans and the zones, and, and he's unbelievable at finding the seam. And, and he and Drake have a special combination, so I, I thought that was really a key part of tonight's offense. Mac, what do you feel like was the key defensively only giving up two plays, one running over 10 and one pass over 15, just keeping those plays in check? CL, I thought the biggest thing was just the um, um, – we, we've played where um, nine people were playing together and somebody messed it up. And, and we'd sit there and say, this is so close, but we just messed it up. And it might be part of the call or it might be too wide. You can stay in, though. You don't have to leave. <laughs> I can brag on you. Just go. Just go. All right. He's going over to this side. Um, but, but that was the biggest thing, I think. That's what frustrated us so much. And, and the kids, and, and that's why Coach Chiswick has done an unbelievable job on Sunday with Accountable Sunday taking these plays and saying, guys, nine guys did it perfectly. And here's a guy that didn't fit. The safety was too wide, and it squirts for a 20-yard run, or, or the corner left his guy. Or, um, and, and, and the kids have been listening. Instead of getting frustrated, uh, they have really been listening to the coaches, and, and they wanted so badly to get it fixed. And then the other thing that happens to you, if you're not careful, these I'm, I'm probably too hard on our coaches, and, and I got that. And they want to win so badly that they press those kids and they jump those kids, and then the kids get uptight. So I need to back off a little bit too. And, 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 and there were a couple of times tonight where the coaches were so frustrated with them over little things. You can coach without being that frustrated. So I've got to do a better job of, of, of not putting so much pressure on our coaches. Now, you know, just converting that fourth down play right to start the game set the tone for today. Yeah, it, 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 it was interesting. The first fourth and one, I wanted to go far. And I didn't think we looked in sync. You know, we just didn't look very good. We did, the first run we had was no yards. And Drake was kind of all over the place. and. And, and, and I didn't think they would move the ball as well as people have been tonight. So I thought we should punt. In retrospect, I, I, I think I should have gone for it. Um, and, and then down on the goal line, you know, people are scoring points. You look across the, the country, uh, and we missed field goal. And that was a fourth and seven, I think, or eight, or I would have gone for it. But I'm just going to go for fourth downs. If, if Basic, if you're, if you're in that minus 45 area on in, um, and, and it's four or less, large majority of the time I'm going to go for it. And, and Drake sees the field so well. He's, he's very knowledgeable of football. So even if it's not there, he can move a little bit. He's got a quick release and can get it to our good receivers. Um, so we're pretty hard to stop on, on fourth downs. And, and I like that. I, I, I think it, it sends a great message to our offensive coaches and players that I have confidence in them. And at the same time, we've talked to Coach Chiswick in the defense enough that it should sh show some confidence in them that when you go for it, man, you got to stop them. Uh, this, is, this is modern day football. And this is what's happening. Um, and, and what were we, three for three? We were three for three on fourth downs tonight. So uh, we'll, we'll con continue to do that. I said we quit doing it last year because we weren't making any. Those things aren't very much fun if you don't make any. You know, if you make them, they're, they're a lot more fun. Yeah, we had that at uh, the, the first quarter was really good against Notre Dame. The fourth quarter was really good against Georgia State. The second and third quarter were really good against App State. So we've seen it in pieces, but we, we just didn't, we, we haven't consistently done it. And, and tonight, uh, I thought they, they walked onto the field thinking three and out, and, and they have not had that confidence, and, and that should really help them moving forward. To follow on that, what do you think they did really well in this game that maybe took from practice that y'all pointed out they really needed to get better at? What did you see that really improved on? Uh, tackling, uh, getting in the right gaps. We had a couple. They squirted a few through the A gap, 
and, and Don Chapman at safety came up and missed a tackle on one of them that, that led to a five-yard gain that should have been a two or three. Um, but, but I think that more than anything else, they're learning that if you'll get where you're supposed to get and not try to make somebody else's play, we're okay. If everybody just does their job, and they, they um, because of that tonight uh, or this afternoon, they, they weren't uh, so hard on each other. They, they were really proud of each other. And, and I saw more patting on the back and picking up than, than frustrated and getting after them because you didn't do your job. And we've still got some things that we can fix. But, but I was really, really proud of the, the way they played in, in just doing their job. They've been giving us effort, but not everybody does their job. And, and today, I thought really in, in, on defense, they, they did their job most of the time. We had one wheel where we had a corner lose his eyes. And, and we should have had that covered. And that was a play that killed us from Notre Dame. It's been interesting that um, everything that's worked against us, we see the next week, because they all put it in, even if they're not running it. Uh, but we covered the wheel much better tonight than against Notre Dame, obviously. What was that trick play? That trick play you all tried? Uh, we, we have about five trick plays that we keep all the time. And, and it was just a throw back to the quarterback. Um, and it was wide open. And our man got him a little short arm there. It didn't quite get there. Was some of what you were just saying with the defense in part some residual effect from that players in the meeting and maybe calling some of the stress the guys were I think that our coach is trying to be positive with them and Gene's showing them exactly what's wrong. Because if you if that sounds like a simple concept, but if you if you show them what's wrong it's a whole lot easier than one of the players griping about. They're not teaching me right, man. No, it's you, bud. You're right there. Fill your gap. No, that's your man. And those are hard meetings. And I have those meetings with the coaches. How can you sit here and tell me you're coaching when your guy's not in the right gap? How hard is that? There's three gaps, man. How hard is that? So uh, what we've all done is, is taken out the sensitivity because it's so important that we win. And, and tried to understand that we're trying to help each other. That, that's what I'm trying to do with the coaches when I'm really hard on them. Um, and, and people said, do you get sensitive with each other in the building? We really don't because after that, we walk down the hall and you, we leave here and you're your friends and you're your family. And, but in this building now, you, you've got to do what you're supposed to do. In the group, you're talking about uh, giving Cedric the look when uh, getting interception. I mean, were you giving him a Yes. Yes, he knew exactly. I was so mad at App State. And and then we we kick a field goal. We don't score touchdowns. Then Drake comes out and fumbles. I mean, we took a, a blowout and turned it into the worst quarter in the history of defense. Um, and all we had to do was just do our job. So it's just I, I just can't stand immaturity. I mean, just 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 and, and I can't stand guys not showing class. And don't don't run over and be a cheerleader. That's not your job. Do your job. Your job is to intercept the ball, and he's got really good hands. He was a receiver, a slot receiver in, in high school. And so come over here, and, and uh, it's not about you. It's not about cheering in the section. They're supposed to cheer. You're supposed to get the defense together, hope the offense scores a touchdown, and then get ready to go do it again. And and that's where we've just got to we've got to mature. The play looked like the upstate play. I don't know if that was giving you that no. job. It really did. I, I thought, and I watched him, and he looked at me before he went. I said, uh-uh, do not go back to that crowd. And he said, I got you. I'm, I'm, I'm going to the bench, coach. I'm going to pick him up. So, but, but that's, that's teachable moments. And he is a great kid. And he, he said after the game tonight, I kept saying, uh, the score is nothing, nothing. Don't, don't start acting like everything's, this is cool, man. We're okay. We're never okay in a college football game anymore. And, and he, he basically did that. And they were those three and outs in a row. And they kept playing. And they didn't care what, what the, the score was. Um, and after the game in the locker room, he came over and I said, good for you, man. I like what I saw. And he said, I'm going to keep leading now. I got this thing. I, so, so that really helps us. Drake's ability to run the, the, the hurdle side really paid <laughs> off. I think there were a couple third downs that he picked up with his legs that were trying to drop a lot of guys to deal with the receivers. It feels like that is becoming an increasingly important part of the offense. Yeah, the, the quarterback runs are hard. They had some on us in the first half. And, and we're not going to just 
spend time running Drake because we don't need him to get hit. There's going, going to be enough scrambles. But if you think about it, you got these really good receivers, you got these really good running backs, everybody spread out all over the field, and people are covering them man to man. There's nobody for the quarterback. And then if you have to spy with him, you're taking away a pass rusher or a dropper. Um, and, and he is, uh, I'm continually impressed with Drake's football IQ. He has a great grasp of when to leave the pocket, how many he has to get, getting that now and getting down. And time and time again tonight, I, and, and he's got just enough wiggle about him with his athletic ability, and he's tall enough that he, he's got some quickness, and that first one usually misses him, and, and then he, he has a feel of, of making that first down. Uh, even on the first series, I think, we absolutely stunk. I didn't think we did anything right. And he runs out and makes 11 yards when it's third and 10. Uh, and we didn't do a very good job on third downs in the first half. We did a much better on third down, job on third downs in the second half. But I, I, I think when you have a really good quarterback, you have a chance to win each week. And I, I told the players and the coaches the other day, everybody's about alike. You, you got five or six that are better than everybody else. All the rest of us, uh, the games can come down to, to a play. I sat there. I, I sat there Thursday night and watched. And there, here's Houston and Tulane playing in another overtime. It's just uh, that's what's that's what we got with college football. There's not transfer portal. There's not that much difference. I saw Ole Miss had 24 transfers today. Um, so usually those guys that transfer in are pretty good, or you wouldn't be asking them. So I, I just think that's what's happening with college football. And and you've got a coaching makes a difference probably more now than ever before. And I've challenged our coaches with that. Um, you have to do a great job. I thought one of the most critical plays in this game, I was really mad when they scored with a, a minute 21 left or whatever in the half because they were going to get the ball the second half. And I thought, here's Notre Dame again. Come on, man. They drive down and score. That could be a 14-point swing. Um, and where we handed the ball off with 31 seconds last week, I said, let's go. Throw it. I, I want you to throw it downfield. And I want to have a chance to throw it either in the end zone for a Hail Mary at the end of the half or a field goal. And I thought the, the fact that we drove down and kicked the field goal was a huge message for momentum going into halftime. And, and I do think that made a big difference. All right, Coach. Somebody else. In the first half, you guys got those three touchdowns to break the game open 21 to 3. Yes. Uh, two of those you had double digit offensive uh, play drives, and then on the third one, you got the is that the kind of confidence you were talking about earlier this week? Yes, and that's what we told the team. Uh, an answer on defense is after we score a touchdown, you've got to stop them so we can get another one. And Virginia Tech is a physical, balanced, running football team. We felt like if we could get ahead by enough, they're not a team that's going to drop back and throw it every time. That's not who they are. We can do that. But they're more of a physical, running football team with play action. Uh, and, and there's a, another concept that when, um, if Virginia Tech scores, our offense has to go answer, and they have to score. So it, it's, uh, uh, that's, that's just what we thought. And I was really upset that our offense went three and out with 6.52 left in, in the, the half. And, and then darn if they don't go right down and score. And that's why I thought we had to be aggressive and come back and score with the three points. Is there anybody else? Yes, ma'am. Josh led the team in receiving yards in the second game back from injury. If you could just touch on what kind of spark he's provided for your team. Yeah. Uh, Josh may be our best player. He's so quick. And uh, it's amazing what he's been able to do uh, not being able to practice. When you've got a lower leg injury, you can't run. So he had three weeks where he was limited on full speed running. Um, and he made a couple of, of poor decisions in the kicking game tonight because he hadn't been out there much. Um, but, but he'll just continue to get better and better. We pulled him out early fourth quarter so he wouldn't have to play anymore. Um, and, and Lonnie and I just said, that's enough, get him out. Uh, so hopefully he'll, he'll get better each week. Awesome, and then just a really quick follow up to that. Can you just talk about how important the duo of Downs and Oh, here's Josh right here. I didn't even see his in here, so. Yeah, how important um, the duo of him and Green were in that first half they combined for 170 receiving yards? They're two of the best receivers in the country. And, and they are so good when they're out there um, that, that it just it makes a, a huge difference. And if people continue to try to stop the running game, they're, they're open. They're just there. They're hard to cover. 
Uh, and that's why you can make a decision uh, to, to start throwing the ball with whatever it was, 57 seconds. What was left in the half? 28 seconds. 28 seconds. That's why you can actually do that. And I said, don't be stupid, Drake. Don't throw it to them. But let's get something far enough down the field so we can have a chance to throw it in the end zone. And, um, and, and I think that was a huge difference in the ball game. But right. if, you, if you think, and the last thing is for corners, how can you back up and cover Josh and Antoine Green? And that's what they have to do. And, and I'll, I'll brag on Noah. He's been a great leader. And I'll, I'll brag on um, um, Kamari. He, he's done such an amazing job at tight end. Um, th those guys made a difference tonight. We needed Kamari's catch down the same that, that made a huge difference. And Noah has, has done an amazing job coming from another program and being such a leader. He's pushed these guys, and he's pushed them hard, and he's pushed himself. And, and, and um, you can tell them, no, I thought t tonight really the biggest difference was everybody did their job. And, and that was where we, we, we'd been inconsistent. But I thought that's the difference. They've been trying hard. They've been wanting to do well. Uh, but it was just better tonight that everybody had confidence. And, and, and when you do what you're supposed to do, it, it shows you you don't have to try to do too much. And when you're struggling, and now with social media and, and fans and you guys, everybody talking about how bad they are, they have to listen to that stuff every day. So sometimes you do too much. And, and that's where Sed just walked into. Sed and Noah have been unbelievable leaders on that defense to help us get where we were tonight. Okay? All right. All right. Thanks, Matt. Thanks, Coach.